I don't know if I should be doing this yet. Fuck you! Uh-oh. I pushed my luck again, didn't I? <laughs> I don't know if there's any other places in this area I can explore. You're gonna get grabbed. Something's gonna jump out and fucking grab you and pull you in, bro. Or you're just gonna walk in. Okay! <laughs> Give me back my lighter, please. I can't see a fucking thing. Hi, I hate this. Oh, we are in the other world. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Silent Hill. What is some of our nights? It is your. I may have forgotten a file in the last episode of Misappropriated. That's not even the word. The fact that her skirt is actually a dress and also. Um... Yeah. That piloted <laughs> And welcome back to a uh, tormented souls also i missed it during the dialogue like i didn't point it out between me and that priest guy the the i don't know what he is i i, I can't think of it right now shut up <laughs> the guy with the collar i think he's a priest um but he said to her uh, there's also the thing of the fact that um, I was like, are you Canadian? And the letter that came to her at the beginning of the game said that her residence is in Canada. <laughs> so I'm like, yup. So all that, all that, it, <laughs> oh my god. And also the fact that when he saw her, he said, I just saw you a few days ago. And there's twins. And one of them could be her. Looking all nervous and shifty eyed and whatnot. Or the other one with the weird smile. I don't know. Could be her. So I assume one of these is my character. Um, he was like, hey, I saw you a few days ago. Maybe my mistake. I think it was the twin. So there's the twin thing that I didn't do. The. This letter that I didn't notice, I walked right past in the main upper hallway. Also, like I said, the fact that that is a dress, not a skirt. Um, and all those other things that I just said. Also, my x-ray has boobs. My x-ray has boobs. Okay. All that shit bothered me. And I do think that that letter that said dude's name above it wasn't something addressed to him. I think it was him. So I misread that not in the guy's voice. The, no. Voice. So excuse me for doing that. But let's read the Tsubi Tribal Report. Report about the Tismute Tribe. Read it. According to the latest archaeological discoveries on Winter Lake Island, the Tismute tribe resided on the island for more than 500 years before being discovered by European settlers. Proof of this is in an ancient underground cemetery found deep inside a cavern on the island shore dating back from the 10th century. More than 286 skeletons belonging to 10-year-old children have been unearthed so far in the underground cemetery. Holy crap! Oh my lord! Ooh, no! That's, that's bad! That's very bad! 
All the bones were buried in pairs, and experts expect they, they were twins. Yeah, buried together. I, I assume that one is said in pairs, and you know the theme of this game so far. So, uh, that's bad. I really wish I didn't read that. I'm gonna have nightmares. All right, so put the valve handle there. I don't know, oh, here? So, I gotta get the pressure gauge to a certain pressure, right? I think it's up here next to where I actually got the handle. So we're gonna look real quick. Um, 10 kilogram centimeters? Okay, so yeah. This has to be at 10 or the other one has to be at 10? Okay, I just gotta start flipping handles and shit. I gotta j just gotta try it. I'm not the smartest puddle solving man. This is a hard hat area and I do not have one. Um, there are so many things just everywhere in this game. And that speaks to the awesome level of detail. They didn't have to be this air quote cluttered in any of these hallways or areas or anything. But it is and it adds extra life and detail to the world. Looks so lived and worked and played and just existed in. And it's really cool. It, they could have left bare ass hallways in this room fairly bare. But no, there's like things, like a little environmental storytelling stuff too. So I like that. Okay, no. Does this reduce it? Yes. Uh... Okay, so we're going to 10? Shit. Ooh, so close. One of these takes it down just a smidge. There we go. That should be it, right? Yeah. <laughs> I was excited to play more of this game, and yeah, how'd you like that, that air quote censoring in the last one? I let you guys get a view of her in the tub for a second, because I did describe what it looked like, but I didn't know how I was going to censor it at the time. So I just did the fade out, fade in, but I gave you guys a, a little glance at her inside the tub. And YouTube is apparently okay with just me doing that because she was completely covered by water. So you guys got the view of her in there. And I still apologize for not letting you see the cutscene of her realizing her eye was gone. Because that was a really nice scene. Really cool, really creepy, very detailed. And I apologize for that. But you also got to see her in the tub and everything. And it was fade back into where she was, um, you know, not so nugget. All right. What does it have to be on? Do I have to go to 11? Okay, I have to go to 11. To compensate, I guess? Huh. How would I have known? Even though I tried it right before this. That is a long, long one. So this has to be a 11. I'm sorry, I'm stupid. Excuse me, am I why not? It's almost it. There we go. Yay for me. I have a feeling I'm going to encounter one of those creatures soon. And I feel like I saved way too early, but my health and everything. But, uh, yeah, this feels like way too long of time without it. Yes! Now I can go into the doors and we're electronically locked. Alright, we unequipping that shit. Now I want my gun. Can I 
can use this again? I can equip it? Will that break? I don't know why I think that's gonna break. I don't think I'm gonna equip that. Well worn. Maybe I should? <laughs> Ooh, that animation is fluid. It's got fluid. All right, now I can't remember which rooms. Oh, it's not the touchpad; it's the analog click. Which one is electronic? Boom. Oh. Um, any of these? I can't tell. Crap. Well, this is the room with the guy, right? No, it is the um, the hallway. <laughs> Isn't there one over here? Hi, did dude. This one's locked from the other side, I believe. Uh, is this one locked from the other side as well? Nope, it's just uh, open it and you're at a thing. I think there's one in this area. I wish I remembered. Oh, I hate it. Oh, yeah, there's a dead person there, and I can't really see, so it freaks the camera out. <laughs> well, at least we can see better, and I don't have to use the lighter the entire time. That's kind of nice. Nothing back here, right? Yeah, no. Nah. I can't fucking tell! We're down here. Ah. <sighs> Why is something red? I don't know what the red means. Does green mean I missed something and red doesn't? Huh. Because I thought I got everything from the x-ray room and the generator room, right? Am I mistaken? I hear noises. I fucking hate hearing noises. Is this electronically locked or on the other side? Yep. God, that guy is just still having so much fun that painting. There it is. Oh, I hate the maternity ward. Picture of a nurse standing next to a patient. I hate this room. It's big. <laughs> and there's blood splatter. Oh no. Maintenance crew logbook. Yeah, so these are from the person, I guess. So I should have read that differently. Evening shift. Electrical maintenance. 1445 Lucas Houston. Nurses told me that there was a lamb in my wing and then turn it wall. And turn on the lights so I could see that one of the balls in the wall that was indeed flickering. As I was getting ready to change it, a man came out of nowhere and grabbed me by the shoulders, pushing me back with unbelievable strength for someone his age. He told me not to touch it. I didn't want to argue with him, so I simply left. I can't stop thinking about it. Why did the old man prevent me from touching it? I should check it out. Can I die if I do that? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, ammo. Yay for ammo! Can I die if I touch it? Full of various med I'm not touching that. Wait! Maybe he doesn't want me to touch it because of, um... There's a secret. I'm gonna assume that. I'm going to hope for that. Oh, hell no! I'm gonna go with, oh, hell no. Water is switched off. Yeah, water is switched off. Yeah. Go. Oh, so it did open the path. Cool. I hope there's not some insta-death shit around here, man. Oh, this is the person that, uh, the rigor mortis is preventing them from getting the thing. So it's the valve handle that I can't get. Her fist is tight clenchly because of rigor mortis. Oh, am I gonna have to fucking electrocute you? 
or electrify you so I can get you to open your- I'm gonna have to restart your fucking heart for a second. So you, um... So you can, uh, or you are alive? And I have to shock you into, um... Letting go? Okay, we're turning that back off. It's full of medicines, yep. Was there any other electronic lock areas? I don't know, but I'm gonna do it down here and there's gonna be something here. Little room. Big scares. Oh, I fucking hate this. This game legitimately scares me. Yay! Fucking, uh, uh, I can save. I hate this because this is a game I'm wholly unfamiliar with and actually seems scary and I don't like it. Various mannequins are kept under the sheets. Cool. I hate that. There's so many. Oh, it's a mirror. What? Oh, I just suddenly appeared. I was not there before from what I saw. What the hell do I use on this? There's got to be somewhere I'm missing. Because I don't think there's a map for down there. Alright, I'm going to equip the freaking lighter again. I'm tired of being in the dick. Yeah, that's much better and also very fucking worse. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so nothing else in this room. Can, can I light these? Then please do. I don't know if I should be doing this yet. Fuck you! Uh oh. I pushed my luck again, didn't I? I don't know if there's any other places in this area I can explore. You're gonna get grabbed. Something's gonna jump out and fucking grab you and pull you in, bro. Or you're just gonna walk in. Okay. <laughs> Give me back my lighter, please. I can't see a fucking thing. Hi. I hate this. Oh. We are in the other world. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. To Silent Hill. The other world of Silent Hill. Things. Yes. Should I heal yet? Yup. <laughs> Hi. Are we done here? Oh god. So they have like a period where- Oh! They have a period where they um... Where they um... Are just like down and have iframes. And I can't do shit. Nice butt? Mr. Wolverine man? Oh, there's a door there. Can I have more supplies? Yes! Make up for that shit that I just used. Is that thing now a baby? The hole in its chest cavity. Does it fit? 
What the fuck is happening? Surgical tools they don't appear to be in good condition. Cool, I'm glad water is still switched off. Is that a door and also this is a door? I can't open it. Uh, <laughs> fuck this place already. Man, you can literally just keep tanking fucking hits. I gotta be careful. How would I do that? Okay, so I have to go back now? I've done all I can here? I think? Okay. I've done all I can here, apparently. Lord, get me to somewhere where I can feel safe. This whole place is not that, but still. There are rooms, apparently. I missed something. I guess this will work in a pinch? Did I just come from up here? Yes. So let's go to other places and see if we can do other things. Nope, I fucking hear you, bro. And that is a dead end anyway with the dead man. I'm not going that way! There are fucking two of them! Bad day, 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 Oh, you puked on me, you fuck! Oh, I'm in danger again. You know what? Top me off, daddy. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Ow, stop puking on me! Oh my god, you're not down! <sighs> that better have been worth it. There better be something in here. That I can fucking do. There were fucking two of them! Yeah, that's the other one. Dennis room. Dude! Dude! Fucking, are you kidding me? Can't keep taking damage! You're gonna kill me. <sighs> okay, I need another health now. Yes, thank you, I get it. X-ray images. Haley do, please. Haley do? Oh, okay. That'll work. I didn't know they had a long fucking range attack. There is gore on the floor. I need to go save. Like, I need to go save. No matter how fucked I am right now. And that first enemy, I really shouldn't have got smacked around. That other enemy, I shouldn't have got smacked around. But they have a long distance attack. I did not know that. And that is not welcome. <laughs> now I'm going to be walking around a place in fucking danger. And there's that guy in that dead end room. How the hell am I going to get to a save? without that guy clipping me and killing me. This is not good. I'm not in a good situation. This is mine. But hey, we're gonna read some of this guy's diary. September 1941. As I crept quietly behind my father, the clock struck 1.30 a.m. I saw him enter the mausoleum after placing three elements on some kind of board. He went through quietly. I followed him at a distance, trying not to make a sound, for I did not want to be caught. At my mother's tomb, my father sank to his knees and rested his hands on the cold, sculpted, mottled figure of his wife. He began praying. 
I feel <laughs> guilty following him, seeing the cold and calculating man this way moved me. I was about to leave when Father stood up and approached the angel statue. Mother's marble tomb moved slowly to the side and exposed a narrow staircase leading into the darkness. He climbed down the stairs. I hesitated for a moment, my legs not wanting to take another step, but was able to stand and follow him down. Once inside, I heard metallic sounds and the echo of running water. A few moments later, I bumped into a ladder. I climbed down and found myself in a long stone tunnel covered in pipes and sewage. I saw Father's silhouette turning a corner and hurriedly followed. Before me appeared a huge metallic door and a group of men wearing strange suits like those worn to protect from radioactivity. <sighs> Each carried a giant hammer. Is this fucking Silent Hill Homecoming? <laughs> My father joined the group and they received him by hitting their hammers together. A hospital bed on each side of the group carried what appeared to be bodies covered in sheets. This is straight up definitely a cult. <laughs> there is the most culty cult cult goodness about this cult that has ever been culted. This is hella cult. <laughs> my father put on one of the disturbing suits. In my frightened stupor, I loosened a brick from the wall. It smashed against the floor with the sound of a thousand buildings crashing down. I could feel their eyes turn to me as I fled back the way I came. Their guttural voices screaming to catch me while they hit their hammers on the ground. Sweet. Is there another part to this? Nope. Please. If I don't have a Healy do, I'm actually going to lose. Yes, you knew. Okay, I gotta be super careful in this game. This fucking shit is brutal. Like, unflinchingly fucking brutal. It is one of those games where it's like, hey, uh, neatly arranged drugs. Oh, it's the other half of the heart. Yay. Nice. Whew. Um, so th this game is unapologetically brutal when it comes to this shit. They have long range attacks and if they get in front of you, they just smack that ass. So, uh, yeah. We have to put another image there. There are tools inside of that person's body. Am I seeing that correctly? Cause I think I'm seeing that correctly. Medical books, nothing useful. Thank you. I can't examine the thing of the creepy peoples. Okay, so this room was for that. It moved. It moved. It, uh, it moved. It moved. The doll moved. The doll fucking moved. Yes! Yes, it does! Because it moved! Do you not have anything to say about that? Do you not have anything to fucking say about that? Yes, Healy. Y yes, not Healy do room. Um. Yes, fucking save room. <laughs> oh. That was some craziness. Oh my god, I think we're gonna end the episode right here, cause holy shit. Alright. Let's see what you have to say now. I'm gonna create a secondary save. <laughs> it's good there's three slots.
Okay, nothing to say about all the shit that I just went through. Not even going through the mirror into the other world and everything. You have nothing to say about that? Are you kidding me? I would have a lot to say about that. So many things to say about that. Well, we had in total of four of four, 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 four total of four Helidus and burned through all of them. <laughs> so this is going to be great. I wish they didn't have the projectile fucking thing. I mean, it'd make it kind of easy if they did and I could just peck at them away from across the way. But it's not like there's never been creatures in any games like that. If you run out of ammo, you have to get close to them to bash them with the crowbar. So there is that trade-off. But no, they spit at me from across the fucking room. So, um... Damn it. <laughs> so... Uh... Oh god, all our Haley dudes are gone and we're in caution and we are fucked. The next episode, hopefully we'll gain more things and not use more things. <sighs> but as for now, <laughs> thank you so much for watching more uh, Tormented Souls. Go ahead, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. Share this video around so people know I exist. Subscribe to the channel today to become part of the Twisted Night Stable. Do the thing and do the thing where you oh, oh, oh. Watch hilarious highlights of monthly highlights that they'll make you laugh. You know that they can and you know that they will and watch hot streams and you'll be happy. Did that guy come up off of the wall? Who knows he's big and might be smooth. Where are you? Was I able to go in this bathroom before? This is where I fucking came from. Don't let the doctor suppress you. The shadows. What does it mean? What does it mean? Um, so. Was there anything relevant this way? Uh, so, so do that thing and do that thing and do the thingy thing, 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 thing. Where the fuck am I? Dennis room into waiting room into main hallway? Fuck! <laughs> Damn, you got way too much fucking reach! Fucking hooker? Dude, you are not dead. And the next time, I might actually die. Go go watch some other shit that I played because I played a lot of action horror games on this channel. I mean, a stupid fucking amount. What the hell? There was no point in coming here. Now I know that for the next episode. Uh, don't come down here because it's a waste of fucking time. And health. And ammo. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. Death, never ever forget that. Just see you the nights in the later time. Go watch the horror action shit that I've done. There's a lot of Resident Evil. So, go. If you're in the mood for, like, uh, me playing action horror games, there's a lot. There's a lot. Over the course of six years, there's been a lot. So please go enjoy. I hope it gives you the ha 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 <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm in danger, but I'm not going to save it. Bye.